Hello and welcome to the 37th video in this series, Making Simple Flappy Robin for Android using Cocos 2DX. This video here is not actually a video of any coding or anything. Um, it's going to be a very, very quick one, as you've probably seen by the length, but I forgot to mention something uh, about the uh, ad, ad banner that uh, we added in the last video with AdMob, and that is, is that the banner is a fixed size in pixels. I think it's 300 wide, but you can look this up anyway on the SDK for Google, but importantly for this app is it's 50 pixels high. And the code that I've got here, actually, you can see that the path is back at 1.9 because the code I did for the tutorial series is slightly different to the code for the official version. The tutorial series, believe it or not, has fewer hacks in because the, the official version I literally wrote from start to finish with no planning. Um, and I think somewhere in here it's got spawning a seed or something out here, so that's where the red seeds are spawned and stuff like that. But the important part is I set actually a variable called tube top add banner. And that basically takes here this 50 pixels of height from the top of the visible size and then adds a little bit more space as well. And this essentially forces every tube that comes down from the top to at least go a scale 10 pixels plus the 50 pixels down from the bottom of the screen. Otherwise, of course, the tubes could be, if they're right at the top, hidden behind the banner. And where this becomes critical is not so much on something like the Nexus that I've been using, but on a very low resolution, uh, resolution um, Android phone, like one of the smaller Samsungs or something, where you've only got, say, 280 pixels of height or something, then 50 of those will be taken up by the advertising banner. And you need to bear that in mind. Uh, something I was um, kicking myself that I forgot at the end of the last video, because to be honest, the last couple of videos were a little bit bitty, because it's very difficult to integrate the advertising banners and things and show the steps of doing it and prepare it in advance. You kind of need to do things from scratch and, and I hope it works. Anyway, so long-winded explanation, but you need to bear in mind that the ad mob banner is 50 pixels high by, I think it's 300 wide, you can look it up, but that size is then fixed, irrelevant of the screen you have. So you need to remember um, that for your applications. Otherwise, if you have any questions or anything so far um, in the series or something wasn't clear, particularly with the last couple of videos with the advertising banner or the Play Store, then let me know and I'll gladly do another video just to clear things up. So thanks very much for watching and like I said, comments welcome.